Hi, in this screencast we're going to talk about embedding Flash into a web page. Video websites like YouTube and Rever uh, usually use Flash to show their Flash movies. Uh, in addition, they allow users to copy the Flash embedded code snippet and paste it on some other web page. And that's why you see YouTube videos on a lot of blogs today. Uh, OG Solution uses the same thing. Uh, I would upload the video, my screencast, uh, into River, and then River would encode my screencast into a uh, web friendly Flash movie. And then I would take the Flash uh, co snippet and then uh, put it in my post. And uh, so what we're going to be talking about today is uh, HTML object and embed tag. Okay, so let's get started. Let's open up the HTML folder. Uh, I set up a object.html. Let's open it. It's a blank HTML page. So I'm not going to do any indentation uh, just to save a space. Okay. So uh, what we want is we want to tell the browser that it's an object. Okay. So what we do is this. Okay. The open object tag and the closing object tag. Okay. This is how browser knows that it's an object. Okay. And uh, it's important that you give the object a width and height. Okay. All right. So um, let's do uh, a YouTube flash video. Okay, a very simple one. And uh, the default uh, co snippet always sets the object to be width of 245 and height of 355. Okay, uh, so once we have the width and the height, uh, we want to tell the browser uh, what kind of object it is. Okay, and this is when the parameters tag come in. Parameter, a param, okay. And inside the opening param tag, you have to give it name equals movie value equals. Think of value as the SRC and the image tag, where it's trying to find the path to the image. Okay. In this case, uh, uh, we do this. I have a little cheat code here. Okay. Highlight, cut, and paste. So this is actually a URL to YouTube.com, and then tr uh, it looks for uh, this movie. Okay, inside this directory or uh, however they they name their movies. Okay, but if you just take this URL and hit it in the browser, uh, place it in the address bar of the browser and hit enter, uh, it'll show you a video. Okay, and we'll see that very soon. So, uh, the very simple object embed, you just need one param, okay, which tells the browser that it's a movie and where to find the movie, which is youtube.com. Okay. And uh, the third HTML tag is the embed tag. Okay, and you do it like that. And uh, the reason why there is embed tag is because there are a lot of different browsers out there. Some browsers recognize the object tag and pairing it with the param tag, but some browsers don't. So uh, there's embed tag that uh, covers uh, the browsers that don't 
support the object tag. Okay, but you do place the embed tag within the object tag. Okay, and uh, what you do here is you do with height. Okay, and in this case, you do the src like the image. Okay, let's do the same width. 425, same height, 355, and then the src is the same value as this in the param tag. So let's copy or control C, paste, or control V. Alright, so now we have the most simple object set up. Um, I, I wouldn't say the most simple, but um, uh, simple enough. Okay, so let's save it and let's view it in our browser. Okay, so you see this video. It's still a little bit too big, so let's try to make it smaller. Let's make it 400 and then let's make it 310. I made the number up, so it might not be proportional when we load it, but we'll see. Refresh. Okay, it's not too bad. So, uh, this is a YouTube embed video, and as you can see, if I hit play, it's going to start playing. Okay, and that's the object embed, and that's it for this screencast. Thank you.